So as you can see, this is an industrial control panel. And I'm going to show you how to wire the power and how it's distributed across this panel. So starting from the incoming main isolator and then distributed across these neutral blocks, the earth or protective earth, whatever you want to call it, and also the L1, the live, the 230 volts, and how that's distributed across the MCBs, and then how it goes across the rest of the panel. Hey okay, guys, onto wiring the main 230 volt feeds. So as you can see, just working out the lengths to start with, and not a very clear photo, sorry about that, but just getting the labels printed out. I also include the protective earth one, two, but I haven't got it here. Yeah, just getting those printed out off the brother label printer. So yeah, just terminating L1 to start with on the MCB side and terminating the neutral on the neutral bar side and then terminating the protective earth on the earth bar side. But as you'll see here, so yeah, you'll see that I'm cutting out a section of the finger trunking just so the protective earth can go straight into flat into this terminal block before it was bending and I didn't really like it. It wasn't too bad, but I thought let's just cut a section out like that. So as you can see, it's just going straight in there now rather than bending. As you can see, this is what L1 looks like, pretty standard stuff. This is what the neutral looks like, protective earth again. And what you'll see on the other end of these feed cables, they're just left loose and they're not terminated properly and there's an extra bit of length in the main isolator and that's just to allow it to sort of move around until I finalize where it's actually being fixed. Okay guys, now onto the bulk of the wiring. So before we get into that, I just wanna show you the tools that I use. So as you can see here, just standard cheapo Amazon feral crimpers. I recommend these Nipex strippers. They're really, really good. Only using one and a half mil cable for 99% of cables in this panel. So one and a half single ferrules, also using some double ferrules. And then over here, this is a strip axe tool by Viedmuller. It's an expensive tool, but if you're doing a lot of panel building, I would recommend using this because it really does come in handy when you're in awkward positions and you've only really got one hand free because what you can do with this is you can cut, you can strip, and you have one of these cartridges inside so you can crimp at the same time. So really, really handy tool that is, which I would recommend if you do a fair amount of panel building. So into the time lapse. So yeah, first thing is wiring this socket. So just, yeah, running the, the cable lengths, cutting those off, and then, yeah, terminate in one end first, and then back to the MCB neutral bar and earth bar. Next bit is wiring the transformer. And as you can see, I made a little mistake, so I've just rewired the MCB going to the socket. You'll also see me in a bit rewiring the transformer. I got the wrong side. I think I might need my eyes tested. So yeah, the um, primary side is over here and secondary side is, is up here. So now just wiring again MCBs to the 10 volt power supply, or single MCB to the power supply. This is also the point that I realized that I need to shift the MCBs along and add an additional breaker for the 24 volt AC coming out of the transformer. So I've just done that. Next bit, wiring MCBs to the contactor overloads. So main supplies to the contactor and overloads. Now going to the PLC, so supply to the PLC. Again, modifying the MCBs. I had the supply going into the first MCB, but that's being used for the 24 volt AC. So yeah, just uh, rewiring that transformer as mentioned, and now doing the 24 volt AC into the MCB and then out to this dis distribution block over here and then I'm just doing the supply from the 10 volt power supply similarly to the 24 volts just into the distribution blocks here so yeah guys just showing you some uh, still images afterwards so these are 
the feeds going from the MCBs. This is pretty much where we got to uh, at the end of that time lapse. I haven't done the 10 volt distribution blocks here yet. You can see the coiled up cables that will eventually go to the terminal blocks, but we're gonna be doing that bit last, so they're just coiled up there for now. That's a closer look of what the distribution blocks look like. So obviously there'll be some 10 volt supplies going in here, and this, these blocks here will grow over time. You never know how many distribution blocks you need. It depends on how the panel builder wires stuff. So yeah, you just need to make sure you allow extra space for expansion on this DIN rail. This will be the 10 volts. This is the zero volts of the transformer. This is the 24 volts of the transformer. And then there'll be some additional blocks up here. These will probably grow a bit themselves, but then some additional blocks here for different types of supply circuits. I can't remember the numbers of them off the top of my head, but circuits that will be going off to the door and there's another couple as well. So there's that coil that's gonna to go to these terminal blocks. Just a look at what the protective earths look like and the neutrals. Mm -hmm. 